Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making my Ayurvedic hair growth oil. This is my first time making it. I am experimenting a lot this year and I really want my hair to grow. So I got a few things from Shea Butter Cottage. But first up, we're gonna start with the coconut oil. So half a cup of coconut oil. I'm using this jar because I broke my... I broke my usual glass bowl that I use. It, it got overheated and broke. So, <laughs> and I really needed to film this video. So I had to just go ahead and improvise. So that's the coconut oil. But I think I might add even more because I don't want to make this oil again. So another half cup of coconut oil, which means that we've got one cup coconut oil in here. Okay, so that's one cup of coconut oil that we've got in there. So it's slowly melting. So that is the coconut oil that we've got. I really plan to make a lot of this oil. So the coconut oil has now melted. So I'm going to follow up with a quarter cup of avocado oil. Sweet almond oil. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sweet almond oil. And then I am going to add flaxseed oil. A tablespoon of flaxseed oil. Followed up by a quarter cup of castor oil. So this is castor oil, using a quarter of that. To finish off, I am going to add some argan oil. These are, I'm just using these oils because it's what I've got at the moment. So I'm going to take just going to drop a few in there this argan oil is so expensive it's about I think this is about 22 pounds so it's not cheap so just three pumps of argan oil so I'm going to add the herbs now starting with amla powder I'd say about a tablespoon. So a tablespoon of amla powder. Then about a tablespoon and a half of brami powder. This is so messy to use guys. So it gets everywhere. So that's brami powder. Followed up with a tablespoon of brinraj powder. So that Bryn Raj powder. So about a tablespoon of hibiscus powder. So for fenugreek, I'm gonna add more fenugreek. So I'd say two tablespoons of fenugreek powder. So I'm now going to mix it all together in here. use the heat to help and as you can see it's gone quite dark and these are a lot of powders so i'm going to leave it in the heat and then i'll just keep mixing So 
so it seems to be melting into it as I've added the heat so there you go this is what it looks like I actually wanted a lot more of this oil because I don't want to be making this very often so I'm adding a quarter cup of olive oil even though my hair doesn't really like olive oil I don't really have any oils left so I'm hoping that all the other oils that I have in there will overpower the olive a bit because it it's, it doesn't do too bad for my hair it just makes it feel a bit rough so so now that it's all mixed together I am going to put it away for about two weeks and then once everything's infused, I will sieve with a cheesecloth to get all the powder out. So this is it. This is what your Ayurvedic oil should be looking like. As you can see, it's already settling at the bottom. So it looks like every few days I'm going to have to come and mix it so that it stays... Um, consistent so yeah we shall see how that goes so it's now four days later and I've got my cheesecloth which I have doubled up as two so I can easily get all the the herbs out and then I'm gonna tie it down so that it doesn't move much with this elastic band okay so let's try again okay so that's that done so i'm just gonna pour my oil in there i have been keeping it in a dark place for four days and i would have loved to infuse it to have infused it for longer but i really cannot wait to use it so here we go gonna do it slowly and just let it seep through it really smells like caramel it smells amazing I'm going to pour the rest in. So just squeeze in more of the oils out. Also, I had to melt my oil again because when I left it to infuse in the dark, it ended up solidifying. So I think I used way too much coconut oil. So if you're gonna use my recipe, use a lot less coconut oil or just add more oil. So now that it's all done, Although I love the smell, I'm just going to add a few drops of essential oil. This is lavender, followed by some vitamin E oil, and then followed by peppermint. So I'm just going to shake it. And yeah, here we are. All done. I'm going to have to do a separate video showing you how I use it. Thank you for watching and happy growing. See you in my next video. Bye.